It's Mia here from the Phoenix Stables Barn Vlogs and I haven't done a, you know, little barn vlog for the channel lately so I thought today would be perfect for that just so that I could catch you guys up on what's been happening with my life and my horses and yeah, so let's get started. So one quick little disclaimer slash update, um, I'm currently leasing of this girl behind me. She has a new lease and so uh, anyway, this is Max and um, I'm so excited because we are going to um, a little competition since competitions are starting up where I live, where Phoenix Stables is. And um, yeah, so I thought I would just take you guys with me as I got her ready and myself for the show. Okay, so after turning out Max, I just headed back to the barn where I could muck out her stall a little bit and um, prep it for the show. Okay everyone, so as you just saw, I just turned out Max and um, now I'm just gonna muck out her stall a little bit um, so that when she's had a bath, she's not gonna get all dirty again. Um, and then I'm also gonna give her her afternoon grain for when she gets um, put back in her stall. So um, yeah, anyway, also this video is going to be in between voiceovers and me talking to the camera. So anyway, let's keep going. So lucky for me, it wasn't a whole lot of mucking out in her stall and it was mainly just, you know, putting some more bedding in and anyway, it was fine. And then I just gave her um, some hay as well um, for her when she gets back and I made sure that her water um, trough is all full. Um, so now, while she's still turned out, I'm just going to clean my tack and then I'm going to have to um, give her a little ride before um, I can do anything else. So yeah. Okay guys, so here's my saddle. Um, I just got a new one for Max and um, just because I had to get her withers fitted. So anyways, this is her new saddle and I'm so happy with it. Um, and so I'm just going to clean it off with some polish and just make sure that it's not all grimy for, you know, the show because that's definitely important. And before you guys start coming at me in the comments for, you know, probably using this tack to ride her, I am not. I'm using my other tack set so that I'm not getting this one dirty and this one can go straight in the trailer. Um, yeah, so anyways, let's do this. And I also thought while I did this, I would just do a little Q&A and answer some questions about where I'm going and if I'm going with anyone else. And so the answer for that would be, yes, I am. Um, I'm going with a couple other girls here at the barn. I'm going with Skylar and then I'm also going with Stephanie and we might see her later. Um, yeah, so anyways, we are going to the, um, DIHP, um, which is the Desert International Horse Park in California. So we are going there. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be as warm as it normally is, you know, when you go in the summer. But since it's spring, um, we're just gonna go down for um, a little like clinic and then we're just gonna show a little bit as well. And so me and Max will be showing in the um, children's hunters. Um, category and we're probably gonna jump around like the meters or meter 20s um, so that will also be nice and I know she's like an amazing jumper I know um, but she's um, I just want to kind of get used to her before I go straight up to the big big jumps even though I probably have jumped pretty high um, I definitely need to get warmed up to her especially since she is a new horse for me um, but so far she's been such a good girl and I'm so happy to have her um, and I'm so happy that she came to the barn and hopefully she's here to stay and isn't just here for the year. Um, but yeah, so excited to have Max. And um, anyways, I'm just gonna continue cleaning this off.
Okay, so my tack is all cleaned and shiny and I love it. And um, I was actually just told that um, I should probably keep Max um, on the down low for today just because um, she did have a big ride yesterday and before she shows, I don't think it would be good to do a little jump course with her because I was told she had a trainer ride and she jumped already and that was just yesterday. So um, I should definitely keep her really low key today. So anyway, I think I'm going to be riding my other horse um, and I'm just gonna go get him now. So this is my other horse, Romeo, and he is also kind of new to me. I've I've been, you know, leasing him for a little while now. Um, but he mainly does, you know, eventing and equitation, which I'm trying to get into. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna go tack him up and we're probably just gonna do some flatting today. Um, I'm not really trying to do anything with him because um, he's already done some jumping this week. So anyways, I'm gonna go tack him up. Okay everyone, now that Romeo is all tacked up, I'm just going to head to the arena. Okay everyone, I'm now in the arena and I just set up some little cross rails and some cavalettis just for him to pop over. And I put them so that it will be like a bounce jump because he really needs to work on picking his knees up because he is still young so he's just working on how to coordinate all of his body but I think this will really help him out. So anyways, um, I might switch over to my GoPro but I'll just see how this goes first and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, so as you could probably tell, he got a little confused on what to do with these bounce jumps. Um, and I think he also just got a little too excited um, going up to these that he, you know, added that extra little like side step into it. Um, which ended up, you know, having him knock down the Cavaletti pole. But we're just going to go into it again and I'm going to try and, and bring him back. So we'll probably go into this in a trot. So those times it actually went pretty well and I'm really proud of him. He did great um, Now I'm going to turn them all into Cavalettis and hopefully we can still keep our balance and stay straight All right, so that time he definitely got a bit confused and a little nervous um, So he didn't account for the bounce um, which is fine, he's still learning, um, and he's not trying to throw me off or anything, which is which is good news. Um, so he's just kind of getting the hang of picking his feet up for all this because it does actually challenge a horse's mind. So I'm going to reset this and try again. Okay, Romeo did so well. He was really thinking about where his feet are and where he should do the correct stride. And I think he did so well and he's progressing a lot. So I think that's gonna be enough for him today and I'm gonna go untack him. Alright guys, 
so I just put Romeo away and now I'm going to bring in Max and um, she's normally pretty good about it where I can just open her stall door and she'll come running especially if she knows there's food in there so this shouldn't be too hard um, but after this I just have to load my tack into the trailer and then I think I'm good So I thought the camera was filming and it didn't actually get me, um, you know, loading my tack into the trailer, but I'm sure that's not very interesting. So anyways, um, I'm back with Max now and I'm just going to put this cooler blanket on her and then I'll be done for the day. Okay everyone, I think that concludes this little barn vlog and I'm so happy that you guys had come along with me while I um, clean my tack and get to hang out with Max a little bit and I'm so happy to have her um, and all my horses really and I'm sorry you can see Stephanie or Skylar um, but I'm so excited for DIHP so hopefully I can vlog a little bit there as well but I'm sorry if I don't. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this little Phoenix Stables barn vlog. Um, and you guys should definitely watch some more because they are so much fun for us here at Phoenix Stables. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!